Hello everyone, this is Jenny Baraj and you are watching my weekly segment on news and insight in the gaming industry. Video games used to stand alone in the world of media. Now, however, we're seeing a lot of video games have more narrative authority. Video games are now transitioning into multiple works of art, into films, comic books, the works. So what was considered a derivative of these outlets is now a primary source. This is incredible. And and probably the reason why media critics, scholars, and academics consider the video game industry to be a culturally significant one. But how are video games and video game cultures studied? In this video, we'll be briefing over the different ways to analyze video games via academic disciplines and perspectives. Because video game research is still considered fairly new, a lot of researchers are coming up with their own ways to study video games. They've come up with, and generally speaking of course, two focuses on studying video games and video game culture. Those being the study of gamers or the study of issues involving video games, such as violence, sexism, or other ideologies. Arthur Berger, an emeritus professor in broadcast and electronic communication arts, created a scope of academic disciplines surrounding video games. And the disciplinary perspectives on video games are as follows. Scholars from each discipline see video games differently. Each scholar also brings in interesting viewpoints and insight. But what about video games themselves? How do scholars and academics study these games? Well, ludologist and someone I respect immensely, Lars Konzak, created a helpful way to study and analyze video games, featuring a bottom-up approach with seven layers. These layers are hardware, the physical medium that the game is built on, the program code, which makes up the software, functionality, the way the software interface allows the user to interact with the game, gameplay, where raw software is finally recognized as the game, meaning the semiotics of a game, referentiality, how the game is connected to other games, and socioculture, how cultural context impacts the meaning of the game. Moreover, two ludologists, Mia Consalvo and Nathan Dutton, suggested four areas of analysis on video games. These four areas of studies are as follows. Object inventory, all the objects in the game. Interface study, any information in the game. Interaction map, all the choices in a game. And gameplay log, the overall world of the game. The study of games, gamers, or games culture are still fairly new, but with a strong base created by academics and scholars like Berger, Konzak, Consalvo, and Dutton, not only will video game academics flourish, but they'll also be very enlightening. Thank you so much. I'll see you all soon. Cheers and keep on gaming.